I welcome you all in this session of fluid machines. In previous lectures, we have studied the pelt turbine turbine. We have seen the Francis turbine, and now in this in this lecture, we are going to understand the concept of axial flow reaction turbines. Please observe, pelt and wheel turbine was an example of impulse turbine. Francis turbine was an example of inward flow reaction turbine radial inward flow reaction turbine means there was radial entry and radial exit but now we will study the axial flow reaction turbines the there are two types of axial flow reaction turbines one is kaplan turbine and another one is propeller turbine both of them fall under the category of axial flow reaction turbines there is slight difference between the two kaplan and propeller turbine both are axial flow reaction turbines but there is slight difference between the two the kaplan turbine is fitted with the adjustable runner wings while propeller turbine is not fitted with the adjustable runner wings rather than runner wings are rigidly attached to the rotor but in kaplan turbine the runner wings are not rigidly attached to the rotor rather they are adjustable in their position so let's study the basic concept of axial flow reaction turbine what is the meaning of this axial flow let's observe over here now this is a basic configuration or basic diagram representing an axial flow reaction turbine please observe this is the casing i have seen you the cut section this is the casing from where the water is coming water is supplied i have already ta taught you that first of all the casing is filled with water in case of a reaction turbine firstly water enters the casing the casing is completely filled with water from casing the water goes to the guide wings these are the guide wings from casing the water enters the guide wings now guide wings guide the water to enter the runner wings in axial direction please note that is how the water enters the enters the runner wings these are the runner wings i have written over here runner wings so guide wings what actually guide wings do guide wings just deflect the water to enter the runner vein in axial direction along the axis please observe the directions of arrows indicate along the axis so this is the axial flow water from the casing enters the guide wings and guide wings are so designed that they are given guide the guide vein angle is there that is alpha the guide wings deflect the water so that the water enters the runner wings in axial direction along the axis please observe the flow direction is this the flow direction of the water will be along the axis so water at the guide wings deflect the water to enter the runner wings in an axial direction in ax axial direction the water flows over the runner wings in the axial direction and leaves in the axial direction again so this is a case where the water enters the runner vein in axial direction and leaves the runner wings in the axial direction axial direction means along the axis of the runner so this is an example of axial flow reaction turbine i am again repeating this is the casing water is coming out of the casing water enters the guide wings guide wings are so designed that they deflect the water to enter the runner wings in an axial direction so entry is axial the exit is axial so this is an example of axial flow reaction turbine as the water is moving along the vein or moving on the vein or water is working on the vein in axial direction so this is an example of axial flow turbine the same would be happening on this side as well now please observe one point over here as far as the numerical problems are given how to solve the numerical problems that is important for us in kaplan turbine now db is known as diameter of boss or diameter of hub this is the part of the shaft itself db is the hub diameter or boss diameter d not is the outer diameter of rotor or runner d not is the outer diameter of the rotor or runner so first of all we need to understand one important point very carefully please observe now if you will observe that the water is entering throughout the entire vein at each and every point please observe since the rotor is runner is having angular velocity omega so for each and every point there will be a different u because at entry there are infinite number of u's there at entry at entry there will be infinite u's there will be infinite use please observe very carefully 
u means blade speed for this point the blade speed will be different for this point blade speed will be different because both these points are located at a different radial location from the axis for example this is at r1 this point is at r1 dash this point is at r1 double dash distance from the axis therefore each and every point on the blade would be having a different blade speed a different u please note this point very carefully each and every point at the entry would be having a different u on the blade this point is having different u because this radial distance is dif uh, different for this point radial uh, dis uh, sorry for this point radial distance is different therefore this point will be having different u this point is again having a different u because the radial distance has changed and u is given by formula omega into r omega multiplied by r so since for each and every point on the inlet to the runner blade r is different therefore u will be different so we will be having infinite number of u's at the entry in the same manner when the water is leaving the vein water is leaving the runner vein at the exit there are different radial locations for these points so there will be different u's for these points so we are having infinite number of u's so we are having infinite number of u's at the entry to the blade and infinite number of u's blade speeds at the exit of the blade therefore which u v which u we will take which blade speed we will take for the numerical calculations please observe which u we have to take in the numerical cal calculations for that the in the numerical problem itself u will be specified means the point will be specified in the problem itself the point may be like that the mean diameter of the runner then you are going to take the mean point or this this average point the problem uh, in the problem it can be specified like that for the extreme edge of the runner then you are going to take this point u for this point are you getting or not since there are different u's at the entry different u's at the exit so which u you are going to use in the problem answer is that in the problem itself it would be specified that you have to take the u for which point for example in the problem it would be specified that at the extreme edge of the runner then you will observe that you have to take u for this point of the runner at the inlet and exit or at the mean position of the runner at the mean position of runner means for this point you are going to take u clear so since for extreme edge of the runner you will take u1 for this point and u2 for this point now you observe that u1 will be equal to u2 because water is entering axially and leaving axially the radial location the radial location of inlet and exit is same for example this is your inlet and this is exit of the vein so for point 1 for extreme edge of the runner the radial location is this for extreme edge of the runner over here at the exit also the radial location is same so in kaplan turbine or propeller turbine axial flow reaction turbines you have to take u1 equals to u2 and this u1 equals to u2 would be equal to pi dn over 60 and this d would be specified to you in the problem would be specified in the problem would be specified in the problem like at extreme edge of runner a like at extreme edge of runner at extreme edge of runner clear at extreme edge of runner so in the problem this d will be specified to us and for example in the problem it is given that at the extreme edge of the runner then you are going to take u1 for this point and u2 for this point if in the problem it is specified that at the mean position of the runner you are going to take this point on the inlet and this point at the exit since both inlet and exit are this at the same radial location from the axis of the runner therefore u1 and u2 would be equal so one point is very clear to us in axial flow machines u1 and u2 would be equal to each other now please observe one more one more point over here the blade is so curved or so designed that for each and every point for each and every point there will be a different angle of or there will be a different blade angle at inlet different blade angle at inlet for each and every point for each and every point there will be a different blade angle at the inlet so which blade angle we are going to take again it would be specified in the problem 
for example at the extreme edge of the runner then we are going to take the blade angle at the extreme edge of the runner because the blade is so curved that that at different points there are different blade angles and at different points there are different blade speeds so the so the point will be specified in the problem for which we are going to take the blade angle and for which we are going to take u1 and u2 i think it is very much clear to you now let us calculate the area of flow and mass flow rate area of flow at inlet and outlet at inlet and outlet area of flow at inlet and outlet i think the area of flow would be equal at inlet and outlet please observe the area of flow area of flow would be let me write the explain uh, expression pi by 4 d outer ka square minus db square this would be area of flow at inlet please observe if i am going to observe the top view if i am going to observe the top view then i can clearly i uh, here i have neglected the thickness of the vein okay so the area of flow at inlet and outlet would remain the same pi by 4 d not square minus db square you can see this easily over here vf1 would be equal to vf2 these are the important points for the kaplan turbine the area of flow at inlet and exit would be equal the velocity of flow vf1 would be equal to vf2 because area of flow at inlet is equal to area of flow at exit therefore the velocity of flow at inlet and exit would be same next expression for mass flow rate mass flow rate expression is rho area of flow d not square minus db square into vf1 or mass flow rate in terms of area of flow at outlet this is also the area of flow at outlet d not square minus db square vf2 therefore vf1 and vf2 would be equal to each other so these are the important points which you need to take care of while solving the problems of kaplan turbine is it clear to you please observe area of flow at inlet if you will observe the top view then you will find this is the this is the di boss diameter this is the outer diameter of the runner this is the outer diameter of the runner now this whole area will be the area of flow this whole area will be the area of flow axially axially perpendicular to the plane of paper axially so this whole area will be the area of flow neglecting the thickness of veins so this whole area will be the area of flow which is pi by 4 d not square minus db square its mass flow rate can be written as rho a into velocity of flow velocity of flow therefore vf1 would be also equal to vf2 clear so again please note the points very carefully now velocity triangles for kaplan turbine velocity triangles for kaplan turbine for axial flow reaction turbines velocity triangles are very easy and similar to that what we have learnt earlier this is the blade of axial flow reaction turbine for example this is vr1 add u1 add u1 we will have v1 components of v11 is vw1 and vf1 this is blade angle at inlet the point which has been specified this is the guide blade angle or guide vein angle at inlet similarly the water is leaving with relative velocity vr2 add u2 probably we will have this component as v2 two components of v2 one is vf2 and another one is vw2 this is blade angle at exit phi for the point which has been specified and this is again angle beta clear these are the uh, velocity triangles for red axial flow reaction turbines which you have to use in kaplan and 
propeller turbines as far as nothing is given you have to use these triangles i think it is clear to you all okay thank you